Today, I'm gonna show you how to elevate your iPhone photos. Let's edit this gorgeous photo of some fruit. I see some legs in the background, so maybe I will crop that. <laughs> That's really nice. We're gonna adjust the exposure. We're gonna bring up the highlights. And we have some really natural light to work with, really gorgeous natural light to work with here. Um, it seems like the shadows want to kind of fade into the background, which is really cool. So we're going to like give it that high contrast feeling. I'm going to bring the whites down so that the colors pop more. And actually, let's see how it looks when I bring down the highlights all the way. We have so much power in our hands. We've got to really remember to use it more. Yes. And there's yeah. so many different ways that you can transform images using this program. Like it's actually wild. Um, so now this is just giving me such a different feeling and I want to really like just keep going in that direction of like the dramatic contrast. And so I'm going to use another linear gradient here and just really darken this right hand, right top corner. And I might do that on the bottom left corner as well. So I'm going to click and add another mask. This is so much fun. No. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Um, wow, this just looks delicious. Like, it's let so me just zoom cool. in on that. Ah. Oh. Wow, I love that. And I love how you darkened it because I feel like most people might have brightened this and really made it pop more. And I, I just love the way you edited it. It looks so cool. Let's say you made yourself the most delicious meal and it, you made it beautiful as well and you want to show it off. First and foremost, I think I just want to crop in on this image because this food basket on the top right corner is a bit distracting. I want the focus to really be this plate in front of us. Let's see what we can do to really enhance this image. So I'm just going straight into bringing these black tones down to create more contrast. And then bringing the whites down. It's not terribly unbalanced, actually. So the most we're doing is kind of polishing this because it's already pretty even. If we want it to be really dramatic, you could create all of that shadow, but I don't think you need to unless you're trying to be like super artistic with it. I would just leave it in a pretty neutral space there. Whenever I want to bring out more detail and things are feeling super contrasty in a way I don't like, I just like bring down the contrast by a lot. Mm -hmm. And I find that you can see a lot more of the details in the image. But sometimes high contrast feels good. So again, it's it's really about trusting your eye and and doing what is necessary to achieve the vision you see in your mind. I remember there being like a really gorgeous sunset this day and this photo is not reflecting that at all. So let's see if we can bring that vibe back. Mm, it's pretty shadowed. So I'm going to lift some of the shadows just off tops and then I'm going to do the opposite with the highlights. I'm going to bring them down and then I'm going to bring the whites down as well. That exposed a lot of detail in the image already. Feeling better about, you know, the contrast there. Going to bring down the contrast a little bit. Not too much. That actually looks nice. Maybe if I bring down the exposure a lot more, that feels better. We are going to change the hue of the oranges to be more pink. And then we are going to change the hue of the blue to be a little bit, uh, I want it to be a little bit more purple. So maybe, yeah, that's too purple. Okay. About there. Wow, this is already looking so much better. Um, another thing that I like to do is bump up luminance. So let's see what I want to be more luminous here in this specific section. It's not doing exactly what I want it to do with the greens, but maybe it's because I need more saturation in the green. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And then now I'm going to slide down to that calibration tool and just bump up the saturation here in the greens as well. Yeah. 
just adjusting this hue here as well. I kind of like to do everything kind of hand in hand. Hmm. And again, I'm just feeling into this moment. Yeah. Scrolling back up, I'm like wondering if adding warmth will mm. feel better. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. And then I'm going to bring that down. Now we just have so many different versions we could bring out now. It's like, that's actually what it felt like, I think, more so. Bring down the exposure again. That feels like a sunset to me. Bye. Bye.